Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nicholas and this is Major Crit. And now that I immediately get hit by an enemy, now that we've got the gloves, we can storm through the world. It is our oyster. Uh, though we can't actually get any oysters since we still can't swim, but we should be fixing that today because we're going to be going around um, and picking up rocks today and unlocking things that were blocked by rocks previously. Can I take you out? Uh, there we go. Alright, so step one is going to be figuring out where rocks are that we need to pick up. Um, and there are two in particular that I think are very important that we pick up. One of them is in the far northeast corner of the map. That is where uh, the, the source of the river is. We've been told by a couple different people that there's something potentially good up there. Uh, something that the Zoras uh, might be able to give us. Um, and then, of course, we are headed to the mountains up north. And that way is blocked by a rock as well. I'm trying to think, where have we already been where we've been picking up rocks? I think we came through here, right? So I think the swamp is probably relatively clear as far as places we need to investigate. It looks like there's something under there, but we would need, I think, the hammer to um, get those pegs down. What I'm also doing is, well, A, I'm looking around for some hearts right now. Nice. Bombs are always nice. We seem to run out of those quickly. We can only carry ten at a time, so... Never have a ton on us. But I'm also trying to think of other places where we have seen rocks that have been blocking our way. I think I'm gonna do like some poking around. I don't think Is there anything in Kakariko Village itself. Ah, now those piles of rocks we've not run into before until now. Need another fairy. Got a fairy. That is very nice to have right next to our house. That's gonna make things way easier if we ever do die and get, you know, respawn back here. And just immediately fill back up to full health and get, you know, all of our resources back. Oh, is there something up here? No, I think we... I don't know, that little thing at the end, I feel like there should be something hidden there, but... There is not. Is there anything around the castle that required? Lots to pick things up and throw them. No, it doesn't look like it. Not up here. Ooh. Might be something on the left hand side. Yep. Ah, there we go. Some big rocks. Those are the ones I really care about. Because they are big enough to hold, um, you know, dangerous things. And by dangerous things, I mean, um, staircases and whatnot. Uh, do, do, do. Where else might things be? Ouch. Big rocks, big rocks. Anything near the, uh... Okay, so we don't want to go up there yet, because that's where we're going eventually to the mountain. There are some rocks around here. Yeah, there was totally uh, one. Okay, so there's one here. Okay, nope. False alarm. Was, I think there was another one in the graveyard, though. Ah, perfect. Yes, right here. I think there were two different places we couldn't get into. 
graveyard here. That's one of them. Nice. Oh, hey, we're back here. We were trying to get back here earlier, and couldn't figure out how, because all the ways were, like, locked. Perfect. There's another one up there. That's just going to connect back around. Oh, looks like it. Arrows, roofies, bombs. Lots of good stuff in here. Unfortunately, I was kind of full on... Oh, I don't really know what to use money on in this game. Uh, we, we spent some rupees on some expensive stuff like the bottle right back at the very beginning. But um, we haven't really had much use of it since then. That took me somewhere different than I thought it would. And that was the right-hand side, I believe, we did last time. So let's go ahead and do that again. Also, oh, did that rat just drop a red rupee? It's a high-value item. Um, for a little rat to have. Right. Was there... I think there might have been another one. Because we... You probably saw when we were in the graveyard that, um... Up that ledge behind there. I'm kind of presuming that one of these will lead to there. Maybe it's somewhere else? Ah! Black rocks. We know those are too heavy for us to lift, so... Two different levels of lifting things required for us to traverse through there. Oh, that was, yeah, falling down here, wasn't it? I can do a fairy thing. We don't need that right now. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there something else on the kind of eastern palace area that we needed? Can't imagine it. Can't picture in my mind any anything there that we needed the lifting for. Um, yes, we can do this now. Nope. Not mean to do that. go up that way, but can we go down and around? Were there any more of those piles around? Because we just ran into those for the first time. The waterfall of wishing is just around the corner. Here? I feel like there should be something like right here. I don't think bombable walls are ever on like the south side of things. Not that I can remember, at least. Okay. Waterfall, is that the Waterfall of Wishing? Not where we can go, because there's deep water in front of it. You think that the water would be quite deep around the source, but I guess not. Coming over there. Ooh. Oh, they can jump out of the water. They've got a lot of health, and they drop bombs. I'm surprised on multiple accounts with that. In fact, do they all drop bombs? Looks like it. Weird. That's not what I would have expected. Nope. nope, this is a lot more complicated. I just remembered it being, like, straight up to the, uh, Zora's Domain. I don't remember there being all this silliness going on. I'm going to go south here. Ouch. Nice. Nope. I don't like that... I can't see my character after he gets injured like that. Not sure if that's like was in the old games or not. Oh. Whoa! 
do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Wahaha! Well, ha. But I don't just give flippers away for free. I'll sell them for 500 rupees a pair. Okay. Wahaha! Well, ha. One pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase. I'll let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. Wahaha! Ha. You bought Zora's flippers? With these, you should be able to swim even in deep water. Sweet. Uh, how do we dive? Nope, oh, not that way. So, when I press B, I paddle and go faster. I thought I had a way to actually, like, dive. Perhaps not. Yeah, I should probably take out a couple more of these guys. Well, hey, I was assuming I'd get a bomb back. But I guess not. Now, I can swim now, but I kind of prefer to walk because swimming seems to be a bit awkward. It's floaty. I'm less precise in the controls. Oh. Get up. Oh, I suppose that's just where we were earlier. So how do we get up to that piece of heart? How do we get up to that piece of heart? Oh, wrong button. Let me investigate this real quick. Stuck on a rock. Follow the edge here and see if we can see any hints or clues. The fact that there were bushes up there tells me that I might be able to get up there somehow. Just realized one... Oh, is that a hole? No, just a dark section. Okay, and then that's just... Ah, this! Okay, okay. This might actually be good. I thought it was one layer, but maybe it's two layers? Because there was a double waterfall back when we were on the southern section of it. Yeah, there. Now we can get around here. Perfect. Ah, we walk so easily on grass. It's wonderful. Another piece of heart. Okay. Did not realize I could have gone this way. That would have been way quicker. If I'd realized that. Let's go ahead and see if we can can't hit up the waterfall of wishing. I wish we'd come here before we'd gone to the graveyard and gotten those 300 rupees. Uh, we'd been much better off, money-wise. There we go. Knew we could get into one of these waterfalls. Mysterious pond, won't you throw something in? Um, let's see. I think this is for upgrading, right? throwing in our shield. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes. Uh, I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. Nice. Your shield is improved. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. Nice. It looks a bit bigger too. I don't know if that's true. Can we upgrade any of our other items? Um, ooh. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and look at it up online real quick because I could go through every single one of my items. That's going to be really slow and boring. So let me just double check to see if there's anything else you can throw in um, so that we don't have to just trial and error it um, on the screen. All right, I'll be back in just a second. And hey, turns out there are two more items we could throw in. First off, the boomerang will get us an upgrade. And then also if we throw in an empty bottle, uh, she'll fill it with magic potion. But we don't have any empty bottles, so we won't care about that one. Um, but we do get a magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Nice, because I like to use a boomerang as just a 
Way to stun enemies easily from a distance. Um, right, well... Oh, I thought we would be able to... Ooh. Interesting. I was able to block that attack even... Though I was swimming. Also, I realized that's not Azora. That's one of the things he was talking about. Where are we? Ah, got us all the way down south. That'll be an easy way to get up and down the map. That's a thing that will require better lifting power. Bond of happiness! Throw some rupees in, and wishes will surely come true. For a few. Alright. Is there something that happens when I do that multiple times? Let me just try that again. Because I vaguely remembered, I thought the waterfall of wishing I was going to have to throw rupees in. Big trouble. That doesn't sound good. So why is it that when I throw in more rupees to the waterfall, uh, to the pond of happiness, that makes me less lucky? Also, who's talking to me about all this stuff? I'll leave it on great luck, and I'll come back later on. I think. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe if we threw in a hundred, that seems like a good number for something good to happen. Especially that, um, become happier by one step. I know it might be one or two hundred rupees. Um, hmm. I don't want to go offline and look it up again. But hey, okay, there we go. If it didn't happen at 100, I was going to look it up. There we go. Uh, oh, I want to carry more bombs. And I'll increase your carrying ability so you can carry 15 bombs at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give to you. Sweet. Man, all of a sudden, we're finding all these ways to use rupees. Alright. My guess is if I throw another 100 in, I'll be able to upgrade my arrows. But I don't think you guys want to see me just repeat that again and again and again. So again, I'm gonna just have a little pause here. Be back, it won't be any time for you guys. See you soon. Hey everyone. Welcome back. As you can see, I'm all out of rupees. Um, but I now have 20 bombs rather than a maximum of 10 and 45 arrows, rather than a mi uh, maximum of 30. So I'd say we're doing pretty good, um, until we run across a better use for our rubies. Um, it seems like we can just keep throwing them in. Um, I think there is a maximum, but we haven't reached it yet. Swim around here, see if there's anything else interesting in the lake. That's interesting. I don't think we can get up there. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Um, anyway, so that'll be a good use, so we're not, like, just full of rupees anymore. Again, it's really annoying that we, like, missed out on 300 rupees from that chest we opened when we were already full, because that would have been another three upgrades. Uh, now, it didn't take me as long, um, that, as that first time to keep doing things. Um, it turns out that once you've got, uh, once you've seen that fairy once... I and mean, she's giving you the first upgrade. After that, instead of being, uh, what was it? 10 or 20 at a time, you can throw in. You can throw in either 25 or 50 at a time. Um. Ooh. Yo, Nick! You seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Well, that is a great thing to give me. This is a magic bottle? You can store an item inside and then use it later. Nope, no, nothing? Alright. Well, I was hoping to swim past here and go up the river, but I guess that's not an option. Yeah. I'm really glad, though, that I can carry so many more things. Um, having 20 bombs now means I can feel a bit more free about actually using the bombs as weapons rather than just as, um... Like a tool to. Uh, actually, let's look. Let's try going up there. Um, as I said, uh, we're already like 20 minutes into the episode, so we're. Uh, 
don't think I'm going to head up to the mountain quite yet. We might start up tomorrow like that. I think we're going to do a little bit more treasure hunting today. Um, and this is one section we haven't looked at. Um, now that we've got uh, lifting powers. Yep, may as well. I'd like to find some more loose fairies. Like little fairies rather than big fairies. So I can fill up that new bottle I've got. Now how many bottles can I carry total? Looks like four is going to be our limit. Oh, no, I don't want that in my hand. I don't want to actually accidentally use a bottle. There's that. So we can now take that shortcut up there. That's good. If we ever need to go back, which I actually don't know if we'll ever we'll need to go back, but you know. It's nice to have the option. Throwing rocks does so much damage. This is why you should be careful and not throw rocks at each other, children. It hurts. Uh, so is this gonna be... Alright. Bug catching that out. Been in a bottle. Thank you. Back to our magic boomerang. I like that it sparkles. Now if we could just get our sword upgraded. But though I suppose that's what we're trying to do right now, isn't it? Trying to get to um the master sword. Were there any other rocks for us to get around here? I believe this is kind of the last region before we go over to the mountains out west. There might be some rocks over in the forest as well. But we'll be going there to uh, pick up the Master Sword once we're done with the mountain, so I'm not too worried about doing that one. I don't think there's any rocks here. Oops. So, I think we're going to call it quits for today. We've got some good exploration, some really good upgrades done. Uh, we've got the flippers, we've got um, Magic Shield, Magic Boomerang. We can uh, carry a lot more bombs and arrows. Um, double the amount of bombs we used to be able to have, um, and, uh, what, 50% more arrows? From 30 to 45? Is there anywhere else we want to be swimming, by the way? Yeah. Maybe? I mean, I know you can jump down here. Okay, so I don't think we can swim around the castle. So as we saw, we are blocked off at that bridge. I don't think there's any way to get into kind of this moat area. And so up here, in fact, you can even see the little ladders there. So let's just actually explore that real quick. Um, no, no, can't go that way, actually. Strangely enough, I guess this is just a little bit of a shortcut. Hey, picking up rubies matters again. Get past here. Again, is a shortcut if we want to, you know, jump across the river more quickly. Is that a teleportation thing? Also, is that another thing we can go into? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's go ahead and just poke our noses here real quick. Is this just the waterfall of wishing? Is there anything else up this stretch of the river? Doesn't look like it. Just some smaller waterfalls. Go in that whirlpool. See, now the problem with the whirlpools is that um, I know that now we can use them to teleport, but also it's the exact same thing, look, as a Zora that's about to come out, which means I tend to try to avoid them. Oh, here, here, just looking at here. All right, sweet. All right. That is actually pretty cool. So let's just try to remember that real quick, as we're trying to explore later on, that we can go from where we are right now, down to the marsh, or from at the waterfall a little bit east of here, down to the lake. So both kind of northeast corner to the southern section. Southeast and kind of middle south. All right, sweet. 
that will be good to know, a thing to remember, keep in the back of our minds about uh, our ways to get around the world more efficiently. But, um, that is definitely all the time we have for today. So tomorrow we'll be headed up the mountain to the big old rock-throwing mitts of ours. So, uh, get up and uh, you know, see what we can find in the rocky region. Oh, those guys don't they stop for long, do they? Let's just double check real quick. First off, bam, gotcha. Grab that rupee. Rupees actually matter now. Alright. Those guys still aren't done. So, we'll call that done for us, though. Um, yeah. I'm just, there's always, like, one more place I want to double check. I'm pretty sure we found a cave at some point that was blocked off by a big rock as well. But, I cannot remember which one it was. Um, if you guys can remember, uh, go ahead and look it up. Um, and... Or if you remember or look it up or whatever. And tell me in the comment section down below and I'll go and check it out. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye.